Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Taurus, welcome to September. What's your money vibe like in the beginning of the month? They're saying, well, you know what? The past doesn't have to repeat itself. So however it was, however, whatever fears we have about um, money and career because of things that happened before, that doesn't actually mean that they're a good predictor of the current or the future, okay? And this very strongly correlates with what you had in your general reading. So if you haven't watched that one yet, go ahead and check that out when we're done here. Um, in the middle of the month, they're saying this is when we're going to feel a little bit more secure in regards to our career and our money vibe. We might even actually start to kind of love the situation that we're in. At the end of the month, they're saying, okay, whatever's happening now is actually for the highest good. It might be slightly painful, but it is for the best. And so perhaps, you know, God forbid that you get fired. Okay, well, it's actually for the best because maybe next week I find a job that I like more, that I have to work less hours and I get paid double, right? Um, something like that. So it's like whatever is slightly painful in the month of September towards the end of the month is actually a really good thing in a lot of ways. They're saying um, the benefit for you is greater financial security. And you might be like, uh, I don't see that happening if you're watching this in the beginning or the middle of the month. However, um, they're saying this is going to kind of come out of nowhere and you might not even notice it until we're into the next new moon phase or cycle, which is at the end of the month. There's nothing, there's no such thing as coincidence. Anyway. Uh, money theme for the month. They're saying this is a month about budgeting, getting organized, having your ducks all in a row. Um, this is about planning. Um, so that's where we really want to focus a lot of our energy in regards to our career and in regards to money. And it's not just about um, money as getting, you know, budgeted and stuff like that. It's about planning for our long term. It's about um, scheduling ourselves, like really checking that calendar and making sure that it's updated with for work and things like that. How are we going to schedule our work-life balance? That sort of thing. Potential new income sources for you, they're saying they may come through some sort of painful experience. Um, and so kind of like I said, it's as though maybe something is yanked away or taken away, but something good comes as a result. Um, you know, God forbid, but perhaps somebody uh, crashes into your car with theirs and it totals it. But you have full coverage insurance, so maybe you don't get the same car, you get a different car, but you also get like a little bit of a paycheck um, for your injuries. One time I was rear-ended and I had a seatbelt on, obviously. I was just sitting at a stoplight and somebody slammed right into me and... Um, I got like a little bit of seatbelt burn right here and the insurance company wrote me a check for 400 bucks. It could be something like that, you know, where it's not necessarily something super painful and tragic, more of a, an annoyance for some of you, it might be a big thing. But um, that's where the new income sources are going to come through. It's less likely that they come through um, because you start a new business or something like that. Opportunities that you should be considering this month. And they're saying um, whatever it is that friends tell you that comes through as a message. Now, it might be that you kind of notice that you see the same commercial or you hear the same song a lot and there's some insight there. But it's definitely something that you hear or comes through written message, okay? Um, actions to take in order to advance your career. And they're saying turning this pain into a blessing. And I think I mentioned this in one of the other readings too. There's this... Um, I love Bozzy because a lot of his lyrics are very law of attraction and spiritual, even though they don't seem that way. So he's got this lyric or er, this song called Focus. I don't like the 21 Savage part. It doesn't seem like it matches, like it blends, like it's relevant. But um, he's got this lyric in that song called Focus where it's like, 
um, my energies on dragon and then turning, you know, bad shit into ashes and then you rise up through it, right? So you take something crappy, you breathe fire on it, like, ah, I'm stressed, but it burns it down to the ground and something new and bigger and better and more beautiful is built in its place because he said, you know, we turn the ashes into magic. So I don't know if that was the best example. Just listen to the song because I get goosebumps when I mention it. Like, um, so it's relevant for somebody. That might be your jam this month. That might be your motivator, okay? Um, so what's going right with your current career path? And they're like, you know, if you're getting super organized, if you are making little folders on your desktop with other subdivided folders inside of it, hell yeah, you're going down the right path. What's not going so right with it, though? And they're saying, you just might not feel like you have a lot of choice, a lot of options. You might not be feeling super confident. But they're saying, if you can really embrace this idea that, you know, the past experiences we have don't necessarily indicate what's going to happen in the present and the future, then that all goes away. It all falls off, okay? They're saying you may, you can make the most of any shitty situation this month um, if you just really focus on how certain things that happen are a blessing or trust that they will be down the road. Like, I'll get real personal here for a second. Like, I was in a horribly abusive relationship and I was like oh my god this is the worst I need to move like you know rent is super high like I can't really get a house like on my own because I work for myself like I would have had to apply for the mortgage like three fucking months ago I don't have a down payment like bah! and um then I didn't want to ask my grandpa for help right but actually, he was like, okay, I'm on it. Made that shit happen. I bought a house, like, within a month, like, in his name. And then, like, we can transfer all that shit later, right? And I just pay my, I pay the mortgage through him. Which actually ended up to be a huge blessing because, number one, now I'm a homeowner. Number two, I have a way better interest rate because he's got years and years and years of established credit, right? So, seemed like total shit, chaos situation. My life is completely imploding, but actually, hugest blessing ever because otherwise, I don't know when I would have grown up and been a big girl and, and bought my own place. And I'm not saying you're not growing up and being a big girl if you're not a homeowner, right, or a big boy. Um, but for me, that's important because I knew where I want to live and that I want to stay there for like a long amount of time. And I don't really have other assets, you know. So I, I personally, in my circumstance, was just throwing shit away, like just throwing funds away, money away. Um, and that wasn't going to work for me long term. So, um, I mean, it might not be something so drastic and tragic as that for you, but that's just an example of how these energies can play out. So I feel like there's something else, though, that we're missing that I didn't ask in this spread. So what else is it that Tauruses need to know in regards to their money? And they're like, look, if you're feeling bummed out, understand that that's temporary. Um, you have a 100% success rate of getting through every single thing that you've gone through in your life or you're dead and you're not watching this video. So anyone watching this video, that's true. If you haven't succeeded yet, it doesn't mean that you won't down the line. You're going to get there. Okay? You just have to believe in yourself and a higher power, in meaning, you know, in fate and destiny, and it's going to work out. Maybe not in September, maybe in October or November, but you're on that path. You just have to believe it. I love you. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.